now. Okay. We have a plankton net. It has a mesh size of 125 microns. And on the end of it is a catching tube. It's called a cot end. What we're going to do is deploy this and try to get it down to about 20, maybe 10 to 20 meters. And we're going to tow it at a very slow pace, like a drift, and let the current fill into the net. So we're going to go into the current, which is right now we're on a low tide, so the current's actually coming off the mainland. So we'll head it back along Taboga Island, along the shore, see if we can't find some invertebrate larvae from many different phyla. Everything will be collected in this cod end. And we'll, we'll drift for a while and then we'll put this in buckets of seawater. Probably do this a couple times and then we'll head off to a new site. Cod end attached. Okay. It's a neutral. Okay, you can start rolling forward a little bit. So, we have the 125 micron net out right now, and what do you estimate the depth of that? 50 feet? We're probably... Yeah, like 50 feet. Okay, so we're down at least 10, 15 meters, hopefully. And I've got a short rope with, a, with another net with very little weight on it. We're going to do a surface tow at the same time. And the, the uh, size of the mesh on this Nitex net and the cot in are 250 microns. So, some of the smaller animals will go through. We'll see if we can get some of the bigger plankton that are up in the surface, especially some of these fabulous cyponculans, which I'm trying to find, and, uh, and maybe some of the larger echinoderms and other larvae. And we'll do the same thing. We'll tow for about maybe a little shorter this time, 10 minutes. We'll take both toes and combine them into a single collection. The idea is to get the cod in into the water as fast as possible. Let any plankton that are on the net, in the net, and around the cod in fall into the bucket. And then you do three or four submersions like this, like Mayor was doing. That'll rinse most of the material right out. Okay.